How's it going guys? It's Poetry Sutton. Welcome back to another episode of the Absolute Sailor Campaign. I'll tell you what, I am super glad that we like continue with this campaign or that I chose to do that because it has been a blast from the past. Um Okay, I'll do that, but I don't necessarily like that. Um I do need money, at least a little bit. Hmm. <clears throat> do we have any things that we could do that would like Increase our manpower. I mean, like, to be honest, we don't need manpower. But let's just, you know, get a, get a few more thousand manpower. Why not? No big deal. Um, I really need to do this, though. I need to build up the grand shipyards and uh, and stuff. Because they are so incredibly good. Um, I wish there was one to, an option to, to, you know, filter by places that already have a normal shipyard. You know, just upgradable spots. Um, I wish that was a thing. Well, actually, yeah, you could do this and, uh, and see... These definitely all do, because they have zero slots. And we're going to spend all our money. We have actually not been this low on money for, like, a long, long time. That's a good thing. But it's uh, it's good to be spending it, too. So let's uh, take that away from the British. The British. Um, Katsina is your vassal. You know what? That's what we need to be doing. I should have done this a while ago. All right. <clears throat> Don't worry about it. No big deal. Well, in the Siege of Nemur, which is good. Uh, who was it? Was it Holland? It was Jelray that was in this war. Jelray wants to be pieced out. I'll piece you out. Cool, that should be good. We had zero war score against them, so it's going to be definitely be a positive change to do that. Um, I feel like we might just want to piece out with France now. Um, because of the fact that I don't, I don't, I don't think we want to take too much in this war. We just got another Siege, so this is probably a good time to do this. Um... Let's sort by war score and maybe take the highest ones first. Like, we have so many points. The, the main thing is overextension and aggressive expansion. I mean, let's be honest. Aggressive expansion actually matters basically zero. Um, so that's, yeah. Um, we Also, we have Akatan promoted, right? Yeah. We already got all the Akatan land. Let's try to keep it to the coal triggers for now. So let's... um. Try to take the rest of this. Yeah, no, it's Francian, or that's no, not Francian, rather. That's what I meant to say. Uh, take Picardy. I mean, I guess we could take the Burgundian land. I don't really mind. Um, or instead, why don't we take the coastline? Take the rest of the Basque land back from these other truckers. They have no respect. They have no respect for the freaking Basque culture. I don't know why I went French there, if I'm conquering the French, but, um, whatever. Hmm, <clears throat> conquer their northern coastline. Is there any colonial land we want to conquer? Again, <clears throat> I don't care too much for colonial stuff, but, uh, I feel like we should take an imperialistic viewpoint. It's not even colonial at this point, because if, if it was colonial, it'd be taking over stuff here, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, it's going to be imperialistic, so we'll take some of Angola. Uh, in fact, I want to look at... Uh, what am I looking for? Colonial and trade regions. This is part of the... The node there. Huh, yeah. Okay, so... Why don't we take all the French land? And, uh... Maybe that'll be good? Alright, we gotta wait like one month probably. <clears throat> yeah, I think we do want to do this. I think we'll... we'll what we're gonna do is we'll, um... Rio de Prata. Where's that? Rio de Prata. Okay, interesting. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to probably set up a charter in... I'm not even going to worry about the Cape of Good Hope, honestly, but um, we'll probably set up a charter in the Ivory Coast and have everything inland be owned by Mali. And then that way, we just uh, we have some basis of our direct power here and we can directly push from here into Sevilla, etc. Um, and that'll be good. We probably, I was thinking about this between videos, we probably are going to go to war with Portugal, honestly. We could do the whole, um, try to wait for a PU thing, but it's going to be so late by the time that happens, if it ever happens. I'd rather just probably conquer them. What we, I think what we do is we just don't conquer anything in Europe, and then if we force the PU, it'll still look pretty later. Yeah, I know, I'm weird. I care about stuff looking pretty in this game. No, everyone does, actually. That's a lie. It's a lie. I definitely needed that diplomat to be free. All right, we should definitely be able to do some stuff here now. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I don't like this, because it's going to put us... No, we're positive now. Okay. Uh, Mali, I'd like you to... 
become my vassal, but you won't apparently. That's cool. Um, France was the one, yeah. Give me your money. Cool, get out of that war. Did I go above 100%? No, we're not even close, we're good. We're probably gonna have a revolution at some point, so that's fun. Um, just keep above 100% or zero prestige and we'll be fine. Okay, um, that's right, yeah. Rebel, rebel Uprising? I was gonna say it like that. Rebel Uprising, yes. Uh, you, you didn't hear about the Rebel Uprising the other day? Oh, what? I thought everyone heard about the Rebel Uprising. Yeah, I know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a goofy man, I know. Alright, cool. We're working on consolidating France, and that is pretty satisfying. Ulm has no air. Makes me kind of want to PU Ulm and uh, stuff. It'd be great. Um, yeah. So I feel like again, we don't really care about you, Yaka. Uh, Dutch Guiana owned by Holland. We do need to we need to conquer that at some point. They're allied to Brabant. We can take that in a Brabant war. In fact, why don't we go to war with Brabant soon-ish? They don't have any major allies, so. Could work, we already got troops up here. Yeah, that'll be our next war, uh, up here. Anyways, Portugal would probably be a good one too. Uh, I'm gonna keep you keep at war with you for a little bit, Tiberistan. You own a lot of my friend's land and it's not cool. Let's see, meanwhile, Mali should hopefully be willing to do that. You know what, all right, I gotta, I gotta take this, this dim back back for just a little bit. Um, it's just too inconvenient. No. Cool. Um, yeah. Okay, let's just, uh, spread out. Yeah, we're entering the imperialism sort of stage, I would say. It's certainly true. When are we gonna have enough for another thing? Have a subject with over 250 development. That should be coming fairly soon, right? We're gonna have that. We're gonna have that several times over, hopefully. Uh, where does it show development? Hmm, should show it somewhere. Yeah, 209. So Albania will probably hit 50 development. Um, almost certainly they will, actually. Let's see. Like, they're probably gonna... We're gonna take this province of Gors for ourselves, but we'll probably feed them, like, something. <laughs> We're gonna feed them Bulgarian land, so, uh... Yeah, they'll, yeah, they'll definitely hit 250 development. Um, so they'll be a large vassal of that caliber. Also, it's so good that we have them to this level of power now. Um, have a government with a parliament? Well, it's probably not going to happen. Um, have at least 125% discipline? Probably not going to happen. 50 development in the capital, I think we should do right now, probably. Or not right now, but as soon as the next uh, time is that we have extra points, which will be fairly soon, I would almost guarantee, then we'll do it. I think that'll be fine. Hmm, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, what we want to do is we want to take this land directly and leave you with the rest. So, Mali, you'll become my vassal. And I will do that, and I will... I'm not going to revoke your cores, and I'm actually going to feed you all your cores back, essentially. So, there you go, Mali. I have freed you. Um, oh, France just declared war on Ashri. Wait. France just declared war on Austria, or was it the other way around? Right, Austria declared war on France. I was gonna say, you crazy, France? Are you suicidal? Okay, we do want to go to war with. Uh, oh gosh, I hate the fact that this war is gonna. Oh, uh, whatever. Um, yeah, I think Brabant is gonna be a, a war in the near future. I do think we also are gonna have other stuff. Just other stuff. Um, let's meet up with our navies over here somewhere. I also want to get another army to come down to Africa. Somewhere over here. So why don't you march over to Ceuta. Um, four armies up there is fine. Do we have any more force limit? Yeah, we have plenty more. Hmm. These stacks are working fine for us right now. We might want to start upgrading them to like 40 stacks in, a, in the near future. But I think it's fine for now for the... For the near, near future. In the very, very close future, I think it's fine. Uh, we do have enough for a claim on Bamanis. Hmm. Question is, what do you want? What do you claim? What do you give the man who has everything? Right? 
Uh, oh yeah, Portugal has Goa, don't they? I forgot about that. We need to... I, I wish I had another diplomat. I really do. Um, we don't have a whole bunch of more we can claim that is important, but uh, this one, I guess, yeah. Looks like they're actually having quite a bit of rebels, uh, so that's good. That's good for us. I think as soon as we get... Well, if we're not going to be doing any more, we might as well just declare now, right? Basically? I'm trying to think about any reason why we wouldn't want to do that. I'm going to get you and you. You're going to pay for yourself two times, four times over. I don't know. Our, our heir, Napoleone, is pretty good, by the way. Um, I feel like we might want to just stay unfocused for now. So I'm pretty sure what we want to do over here in India is... Uh, the same thing that we're gonna do in Africa, similar at least, um, although we're probably gonna do it later, wait a while. Uh, maybe like release like uh, Vaginagar if they still have cores. No, they don't. But uh, maybe release someone and feed them inland land or just not worry about it, whatever, either way. Um, let's go and do Imperialism. Yeah, via the Imperial scum, uh-huh. Okay, cool. There we go. Get those sieges going. Um, hmm, Mogadishu? I think I'll also probably declare war on you pretty much immediately. Uh, Medri Bari, do you have any land that is of high development value? Yeah, your capital is. Cool. I'll be taking that. Um, take that off of there. This is good. This is good. Because we needed to get rid of some of these things that are just eating up our diplomat slots. Um, Yemeni Separatists over down here. We have so much going on. That's the main thing right now is that we just, we just have so much. Um, I feel like Tavarasan is probably going to be willing to give us a lot, a lot of stuff back now. How much cores do we have? How many more? Oh, Persia, you're gonna be so in love with me. Yeah, let's do that. I don't care about taking it, like anything for myself, basically, right? I don't think so. Uh, we might as well take some of the other, the other stuff that should be their cores, but isn't like the just some of the stuff that we must have missed out on. Bust. Bust what? Lewd. Um, I'll get the military power. I actually have a use for it for once, so. Yeah, let's just, we'll do some, I'll do some, some bonus stuff for you, Persia, since you've been relatively loyal and uh, not worrying, not annoying me. Um, I do need to core this stuff. I don't know why I didn't do that right away, but, you know, shh, it's, it's fine. It honestly doesn't matter at all. Claim on Brabant will be happening soon. We are going to take some Dutch colonies in that one too, but that's fine. We don't aren't going to worry about it too much. That is being sieged, I noticed. So let's go and siege other stuff down personally. We also just got that, uh, which is good. Let's go ahead and get you to come up here. Oh, they're actually sieging down Persia. Our wars are sort of overlapping. That's how large we are. <laughs> Kinda. It's a little different, but whatever. Um, and also then give this not to them. Why? Why would we give it to them? Why not Persia, who is right there? Why not Persia? Okay, that's weird. I do need to wrap up this episode in a second, I believe. And eh, we got like three minutes left. All right, cool. Uh, the rebels seven taken care of. No problem. Um. Mali, I need to uh, improve relations with you, don't I? Yeah, improve relations with them before we uh, do other stuff I should have gone to. This is going to take longer now. Um, we are doing really just fine in all aspects here, I'd say. Um, call for peace, yeah, that would make sense, actually. There's all that stuff done. How quickly... It's going so slowly. You might just want to like give up on. Oh, well, like I said, it doesn't. Re it doesn't really matter. It doesn't basically. It basically does nothing. Um, one thing I think we want to do is 
we probably want to like get our trade fleets doing stuff because they haven't been doing a whole bunch recently. Like we don't need all our ships here. We could send a whole bunch over here to India and in you know the Indian Ocean to like Ceylon or uh, I don't even. The thing is, I've gotten to the point. I don't even know what we would be needing to do to get like the most out of this. So that's going to Ragusa. And that's all getting dumped into Vienna. Excuse me. Hold on. Why is this going to Vienna? That's a major thing I should have picked up on. I wonder. If, so the Gulf of Aden, we probably should keep a guy there. That's still contested. Um, take the guy from from Alexandria though. Um, what we should do is what we should do. Yeah, so I'm gonna take like uh, let's let's watch our trade. It's gonna like go up a whole bunch. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. <clears throat> Split it into like two groups of like thirty-ish. Hopefully, like thirty-four in this one. Okay. Yeah, war's going pretty well. All these wars are going pretty well. I wonder why. Um. You know, I'm gonna just fabricate one on the British, and then we can only fabricate one anyways. I'm a dummy. Um, forgot about that. Then we're gonna peace out of this war. Let's get an idea. Why not? Make us even more OP. Oh no, we got a Regency. Uh, our queen is kind of sucky, but that's okay. It's only for six years, not a big deal. Hmm. Our air is pretty darn good, too, so I don't mind. Oh, don't, don't, I don't want to do that for myself. Why can't we give that to Persia? You know what? Okay, that's fine. I don't care. We'll give it to them in a in a separate war. I, I don't really care at all. Take the money, you know, an older treaty, give them war, or get war reps, and then uh, that's about it. Cool. And now Persia is actually huge. Um, they're huge. Um... And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark up basically all of Tiberistan for your pleasure. And I just want you to eat everything that you can. Okay. Apparently my mom, like, cut herself or something. Alright. Well, anywho. I need to, uh wrap up this episode here in just a second, I believe. So I am going to go ahead and do that. So thank you guys for watching. Please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.